did I invite you to my barbecue? Then why are you all up in my grill? In this box here, we have the national treasures of the world. Nicolas Cage wants a piece of this, but he can't have it. I can't get him up. The Click series. I loved the Click books growing up. I wanted to have my own Click, but let's be honest, I was Claire in book one, but I never finished the series. A tragedy, I know. But lo and behold, I was at Goodwill the other day and I saw several of the books there and they're super cheap because it's Goodwill, so I had to buy them. And I know for a fact my library has like all of them on ebook because last year I reread The Click. I remember it was very similar to the movie, which is Oscar worthy. Since many people probably also did not finish The Click series in their youth, or maybe were never even exposed to it at all, that I should read them all in a video for you. This is going to be a multiple part series because there are a lot of books in here and I just know I'm gonna have some words. I know we're gonna be getting through all like the 15 or whatever original books, as well as the summer collection. Um, yes, hello. And through this journey, we are going to find out the ins, the outs, what it takes to be a member of the clique. And that's what we're gonna learn. So come along with me for this ride. Everyone is welcome in my pretty committee where we're gonna be reading the click books. And please relish in the joys of strange childhood favorites with me. Let's get into it. Hey. Guys, I just realized <laughs> whoever owned this book before got a little happy with their whiteout and they put their name and like white it out. <laughs> Random stuff in the beginning. I wonder if there's gonna be like stuff whited out in the pages. Hi. I'm only four pages in and I can already tell you that this book has influenced me more than I thought it did. Massey's all white bedroom, definitely wanted that, definitely never did it. Her big iMac in her room, I still haven't achieved that, but I want it still. And her love for the color purple. Not me. Basic my personality, apparently. Bean, tell me this isn't happening. Did anyone else hate Keds because of this series? Because I did. And then I definitely continued to wear knockoff Keds as like my only kind of shoe for the next like four years after. Okay, so recap, I'm 50 pages in and so far, Claire has moved in to the guest house of Massey and Massey's extremely wealthy. She's incredibly insecure, but she's a mean girl and she is the boss of her friends, her friend group, which is called the Pretty Committee. She has her own personal driver, his name is Isaac. And Isaac took Massey and all her friends, Alicia, Dylan, and Kristen, to school and Claire was there too, but they made Claire sit in the back seat. So they get to school and Massey gets out of the car with all her friends, but she does not get let Claire out. And the driver starts driving away and Claire's like, um, hello. So he has to reverse and let her out. And he gets out of the car to yell at Massey. Um, why is her driver like a better parent than her parents? Isaac is the king of this book so far because he has called out Massey like a few times now. Isaac, did I ask you to take my temperature? What? Isaac asked, no. Then why are you all up in my butt? I was just wondering, Claire said. Are you a female dog? What? Massey asked, why? Because you're acting like a real bee. I just got to a scene that's in the movie and a lot of people talk about the scene from the movie because it's very strange. These girls have like rhinestones on their arms like making a design and Claire goes up to them and says are those real what like these are seventh graders what do you mean are they real and what do you mean like the rhinestones are embedded in their arm like I don't understand what she's asking 
The other girls at the table had rhinestone tattoos on their upper arms. One had a blue butterfly and the other had a pink heart. Are those real? Claire pointed to the rhinestones and smiled. Oh, she wanted the girls to know she was joking, but it didn't work. <laughs> and in the movie, it doesn't work. It does not work. People are like, what is she asking? Um, in the movie, it comes across as if she's genuinely asking, even to the viewer. <laughs> Okay, this book came out in 2004, and something that dates it, besides just their clothes, um, is the people they keep mentioning. First of all, they compared Massey's father to Donald Trump, and now she just compared Lane to looking like a female Tom Cruise. See, what we're not gonna do is compare the one normal person to a Scientologist. I feel like the major theme of this book is everyone's insecure in middle school, which is true. Claire just made an 11-11 wish for Massey's approval so that she can have approval from the other four girls. As if there's like no one else at this school she can be friends with, um, like Lane, hello. I finished the first book, so let's talk about it. Okay, so I realized I like never really explained the story for people who have never read The Click. Starts off with Claire Lyons. Her family moves into the guest house of Massey Block's family. And Massey Block's family is like wealthy upstate New York family. And they just live in this super rich community. And, and all of Massey's friends are super rich too. So we have Alicia, Dylan, and Kristen. So those are the three girls in Massey's little squad, the pretty committee. And when Claire, Claire as Massey calls her, moves in, Massey is pissed because first of all, it like ruins her plans for the day that she has to meet this new girl. And um, she's kind of classist and she's like, oh, they're poor, like why do these poor people have to live in our guest house while they find their own house? Massey is like a total mean girl. She is so rude to Claire. She always has like snippy remarks. The story follows Claire who's trying to be friends with Massey, Massey who's trying to get rid of Claire, and like their lifestyle, like Claire starting at Massey's school, which is called OCD, Octavian Country Day or something. This book came out in 2004 and like it's very 2004. The way their clothes are described and like how they are like, oh, I put a sticker in the 17 magazine of what I wanted to buy, like, People don't like get magazines anymore do that. Also like they have Palm Pilots, which my grandma used to have when I was a kid and I always liked to play. There was like a bubble popping game on it or something. So Massey is a horse girl and she meets this guy at her private trail and he's like, oh, maybe I'll see you next time. And she's like, yeah, I'll be here. And he's like, it's a date. So then she's got a crush on this guy and his name's Chris Abley. He's a firsty lasty which means you always have to say his first name and his last name. And he is the brother of Lane, who is like a normal girl at the school, who Claire kind of becomes friends with and then ditches for Massey. And then Massey finds out Lane is Chris's brother. So Massey tries to like fake befriend Lane so she can become closer to Chris. Lane ditches Claire and it's just, it's a whole drama. I feel like I'm not explaining this well. This, the first book is essentially the same as the movie and someone who has a good commentary on the movie, there's two people. One, the girl who played Claire in the movie, Ellen Marlowe, she made a video reacting to the movie. So I definitely recommend watching that. I'll put the link in the description. And also Carly Thorne recently did a video talking about the movie and she has some funny things to say about it. So I definitely recommend that. One way that Claire tries to get on the inside is she like hijacks Massey's IM, which I totally miss like instant messaging. I never got to use AOL. Like my mom and sister used it and I was too young and I was like excited for the day I could have a screen name and then I never got to do it because um, it was like outdated by the time I would have been able to. She hijacks her IM and pits all the girls against 
Massey. She uses Dylan's insecurities against her. Dylan thinks she's fat. She has this like, it's really like, it's really sad. They like never like acknowledge in the book, like Dylan's issue. It's like always the butt of the joke, which I think is really a not good part of this book. For Alicia, she like tells Alicia to wear this outfit that's like denim shorts with bright colored leggings underneath. For some reason, that's what separates Alicia and Massey as friends. Like, oh, Massey's like, Alicia, what are you wearing? Like, that's so ugly. And she's like, you're just not trendy, but whatever. And then with Kristen, Kristen ends up telling Claire a secret that she actually does not have any money anymore. And she's now at the school on a scholarship. And the big fancy building that they pick her up in is actually next door to where she lives. She lives in an apartment building. They're like playing tennis and Massey's like, why would you invite Claire to play with us, Kristen? And Kristen's like, cause she lent me her extra racket. And Massey's like, since when can you not afford your own racket? And Massey doesn't actually know that Kristen can't afford this stuff. So Kristen's like, thanks, thanks a lot. Like you're gonna gossip about my life. Cause that's another thing. When they have gossip in this book, they have these gossip points, which nobody seems to keep track of the gossip points, but they're always like, I can get two gossip points for this. The way I just said two would like really made my Wisconsin shine, I feel like. Oh my gosh. This book was actually really entertaining to read, I will say. And maybe that's because I read it when I was younger and like as I was reminiscing, I can see how like it impacted me. And it sounds like the kind of book that would impact a child in a bad way, like, because there's like bullying and like the, even the friends are mean to each other. But like looking back at it now that I'm 23, it's like, oh my gosh, you can really see like the insecurity of all these seventh grade girls. They're all in seventh grade, by the way, which they do not act like seventh graders. But yeah, you can tell that like, Massey's mean because she's insecure. Her friends are mean because they're insecure about their friendship with Massey. And like Claire, I keep calling her Claire. I can't help it. Claire, Ka, Cl Claire resorts to like being mean because she thinks like it's retaliation. And like really she's insecure too. Like she doesn't understand why Massey doesn't want to be friends with her. The end of the book is different than the movie. So in the movie, Massey wants to jump out of a cake for Chris. What seventh grader wants to do that anyway? So in the book, Claire introduces Massey to Chris's girlfriend because turns out he's had a girlfriend this whole time, despite the fact that he kept saying it's a date. It wasn't Massey saying it's a date. It was him in the book saying, oh, it's a date. But I don't know why he was saying that. Like, was he insinuating that their horses are on a date together? I don't know. Claire introduces Massey to Chris, and Chris's girlfriend, and Massey's like, ugh. He's no longer Chris Abley. He no longer deserves his firsty lasty, like, title. He's just Chris now. And she tells her friends that he's out because when he talked, a booger flew out of his nose. So she makes up this lie that rather than being like, he has a girlfriend, she's like, a booger flew out of his nose and now he's disgusting. <laughs> Which I find so funny. Like that is very accurately like seventh grade, I feel like. At the very end, the redemption, in, in the movie, the redemption is that like, Claire stops Massey from jumping out of the cake in front of Chris's girlfriend. So in the book, she actually introduces her to the girlfriend which like upsets Massey. But then both of their fathers go up on the stage of this auction that's happening, super drunk. And they're like, let's sing 99 bottles of beer on the wall and let's bring up our daughters. And so Claire runs out and hides. And so she texts Massey and is like, um, hide in the bush with me. And Massey actually comes and they end up talking for hours and they like kind of get along. At the very end, Massey does her current state of the union, you know, her in and her out. And Claire gets put in the in and the out list. So she makes a new category called WAS, wait and see. So she can decide next week if she likes Claire. It's pretty interesting. Like I feel like Lisey Harrison accurately captured like 
the insecurities of middle school just in a very unique setting of like a bunch of really wealthy girls who are like quite rude and quite mean to each other. Like at one point, Massey gets her friends to dump food on Claire because Claire told them her swimsuit was like this made up designer when it was from Target. And then they all like swam with her because they thought she was cool and Massey was gone. I don't know. I don't think I can rate this book, but I feel like I should say like what's in and what's out for this book, my own current state of the union. So I will say what's in is accurate portrayals of like it, middle school insecurities and what's out is um the girl with like body dysmorphia being the constant butt of the joke i will also say what is out is their fashion they are wearing the strangest things at one point massey's wearing a denim blazer which i'm picturing like you know like a suit jacket that's like denim like business casual which like what seventh grader would wear something like that. I mean, granted, I was not in seventh grade in 2004, so I don't know. Okay, so overall, I will say this book was incredibly like entertaining to reread. If you read these books and you're like, want to have like a good laugh remembering them, I definitely recommend rereading it. I'm actually like excited to read the rest of the books because there are a few things that I kind of remember. I remember that eventually Claire starts taking daily pictures of her outfits and keeping them in like a box and I always wanted to do that I thought that was so cool but like I had no sense of fashion so wouldn't work for me the next book is called best friends for never which makes me think there's gonna be some drama in the little foursome let's read the second book so surprised you don't look at Botox. Another day, another nickel, as Spongebob says. So I'm 30% through Best Friends for Never, and I want to like describe this book as I'm reading it so that I don't have to do what I did for the first book and like describe it all at the end. So this book starts a little bit after the first one. So the last book ended on October 4th, which is the day after my birthday. And this book starts on October 23rd, so not that much time has passed, but it literally starts with a bang. It starts with Massey and Claire getting in like a full argument while their parents are there. And their parents like do not say anything about their like rude comments to each other, which I thought was strange. So it's like Massey's dad's birthday and the two girls get in a fight and then they challenge each other so the challenge is that massey can't buy any new clothes and claire can't repeat any of her clothes and whoever bails first has to wear a snow suit to school for like a week or something there's this like moment where claire's little brother named todd is like kind of gross and like rude and like he has a crush on massey and he makes a comment about like she should wear nothing like or something like that and his dad's like boys will be boys basically i'm like um why are none of these children getting like corrected for their behaviors ever so anyway then massey gets a call from alicia and alicia's like guess what like i overheard some girls saying you're on your way out and like you're not gonna be cool anymore but they want to throw a boy girl halloween party so you better hop on that if you want to like reclaim your title so then Massey overhears that the moms are like upset that Claire and Massey aren't friends. So Massey tricks Claire into helping her have the boy girl party by pretending that they're friends and being like, oh, Claire and I had this idea to have this Halloween party. And Massey tells Claire she'll help her get a phone if she does that, but she doesn't, of course. So now Massey and Claire are gonna be throwing a Halloween party together. I feel like the best way to describe their friendship is that they're like straight up frenemies. They're so rude to each other, but then they have moments where they get along and it's so weird. It almost feels like they're like sisters that are like butt heads, but then they also like get along. I don't know, it's weird. Also, I wanna say that I said earlier, like this book is accurate, or the first book at least, was accurate representations of like insecurity in children. But I just want to say that does not validate their bullying anyway, because they are 
so rude to each other. They are so mean and like catty about like everything, like each other's clothes, each other's everything. <laughs> also something weird, they keep referring to what I think is like zip up hoodies or like hoodies, sweatshirts or something as cords. And I think that's what they're talking about. I don't know, I've never heard that term before. We also have a new term introduced in this book, which is LBR, which is loser beyond repair. I will have to find, I have stickers from I, one of the books that I originally owned came with like Valentine's Day stickers and one said LBR in it. And I gave it to a kid in my class. My friend and I didn't tell him what it meant and we got in trouble. Something that's like weirding me out in this one so far is like suddenly I feel like they're acting even more older than seventh grade and like they're like we need sexy costumes. I'm like you are children. You do not. Please do not. We also got another diss from Massey. She said did I order coffee? Then why are you all up in my mug? <laughs> So anyway, when Massey decides to tell Kristen, Dylan, and Alicia about the party, Alicia's like, oh, I know all about boy-girl parties. I went to one with my cousins when I was visiting them in Spain, and I kissed so many boys, and then like Massey's upset because her friends can't be more experienced than her and things. But like she's kind of panicking because she like doesn't want that to actually happen, and like Kristen and Dylan are kind of panicking too. And this is all happening while they're at like a field trip to a pumpkin patch which so far all their field trips have been to like non-educational places like they went they were gonna go to a filming in the last book for like a soap opera and now they're at a pumpkin patch just getting pumpkins which is where like another total mean girl moment happens where alicia like busts this girl's pumpkin with her heel and it's the girl who originally wanted to have the boy girl party but then massey like got to it first and like the girl gets really upset we also have learned that kristen and dylan like the same guy his name is like Derek harrington but they call him darrington or something weird where i just left off claire and massey gotten a little like tizzy is that the right word they're in a little fight because for the invites claire put massey's number and name on the invites that Massey wanted Claire to send. She wanted Claire's name to be on the ones for the LBRs in their grade. And Massey only wanted to have contact from the popular people. So now Massey's been getting all these calls from these kids that she doesn't like. And she just figured out that Claire did that. And so she's mad. And so she like didn't let Claire wear their matching costumes because their mom their moms wanted to force Claire to match with the other four girls, which is like so awkward. Like, let's not have this toxic group, you know, get together. So because the pretty committee's wearing all their costumes, they're dirty devils, by the way, which they're wearing like dirty clothes, but like devil horns and stuff, I don't know. All the girls in the school are trying to cut up their shirts so they can look like them. And a girl cuts her stomach with the scissors. She like actually gets herself. And so now Massey's about to get in trouble, so. And it was kind of like that made Claire happy because Massey was just mad at Claire for putting her name on the invites and like humiliated her, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna continue reading, but in my mind, I wanted to like dress like a character from this book for this video, but instead I've just been wearing whatever and I like to like think what Massey would think of my outfit. She'd probably wear this as pajamas. And I imagine she wouldn't be caught dead with anything Mickey Mouse. I will argue that she would probably like my slippers. Remember when I thought cords or sweatshirts? Turns out they're corduroy pants. Claire, do we look like a pair of boobs? What? Claire asked. No. Then stop trying to hang beside me. Claire, do you work at a grocery store? Huh? No. Then why are you checking me out? Okay, I'm trying to find a different spot to film. It looks like I've been sitting in my living room for three days. Okay, we have been introduced to a new love interest. His name is Cam Fisher, and he has one blue eye and one green eye. And as soon as I read that, 
I could remember him. And I'm pretty sure him and Claire get together, which is awkward because right now, both Claire and Massey like him. Drama. Massey and crew did get in trouble for their costumes and now their school is going to make them wear uniforms. And they're gonna hold a contest for the students to design the uniforms. We've also had the Halloween party happen and that's where Claire and Cam meet and Claire likes Cam now. And Massey's playing it cool and like she's not telling anyone she likes him. So no one knows. At the party, this new girl, Olivia, who was like from their school, but she was like missing for a few months. She says she was sick, but they keep mentioning it as if like something else must have happened. So she comes to the party and everyone's like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. And now Alicia has like attached to her. And so Olivia's like a fifth wheel of this friend group. At the party, Claire convinces Massey to introduce her and Lane to some boys. And she introduces Claire to this guy who ends up being a bad dancer. So she sneaks away and she introduces Lane to this guy named Eli. And he's like super cool. Like he's like cool in like 2021 times. He wears eyeliner and like nail polish. So him and Lane are partnering up and they're gonna make a uniform and they're gonna promote it to also be a uniform for the boys school Briarwood that he goes to. So that it's like, oh, equal. Now both schools have to wear uniforms. I thought it was funny at the Halloween party, they did like a dance off and the prize was an iTunes gift card. And I do not miss the days of like buying a song for 129. I'm confused about who Cam likes though, because he seemed to like Claire when they did the dance off together. But he also has been talking to Massey or like Massey emailed him. And so he like responded and he was like, oh, it's your fault that they're wearing uniforms now. I like a bad girl. <laughs> what seventh grade boy talks like that? At least when I was in seventh grade, kids were not like that. Curious to see who's gonna win the school uniform contest. I hope it's Lane and Eli, to be honest. I forgot to mention, Kristen and Dylan were fighting over a boy, but now that Alicia is talking to that boy, like, I think they're friends, I don't know. Now Dylan and Kristen are becoming friends again. They're bonding again. They're bonding, but they're still mad at each other. So there's like drama all around in the friend group, like everyone's fighting. Every once in a while, there's a line like this and I'm like, are they in love? And Massey just had her first kiss with none other than Claire's 10 year old brother. She thought he had just received a gift from Cam to give Massey. So she like went up to him and she was like, give it to me. He was like, you want it? And she was like, yes. And he was like, are you sure? And she was like, yes. And then he kissed her. Ugh. This child is ruthless. Turns out it was not something for Massey. He says it was a video game. <laughs> Todd keeps calling Massey my pet and it's making me cringe. He's literally 10 and I hate it. Dylan and Kristen are back on good terms because Darrington was using both of them. They were like saying, hang out with me and I'll do this for you. Hang out with me, I'll do this for you. Turns out at the fashion show, we find out from Alicia that he liked Massey this whole time. And Massey's like, um, what about Cam? And Alicia's like, well, he likes someone, but he won't say who. I don't think it's you. Now, Alicia is like a problem now. She's BFFs with Olivia. She didn't go to their Friday night sleepover. She goes every Friday. She didn't go. She had a sleepover with Olivia. Her and Olivia did their costumes or their uniforms for the show. And then Claire and Massey ended up working together. I don't understand their friendship. Massey is like so two-faced. She'll be like friendly one second and then so mean. But first they were working together and then they put their stuff in a bag and the live-in housekeeper, which is like uncomfy that they have a live-in housekeeper. She accidentally threw them out because they put them in trash bags so that they wouldn't see each other's clothes. So they end up working together and they convince Kristen and Dylan to help and they make uniforms that match each of their like looks, which is, you can have the redhead look, which is for Dylan, dirty blonde for Kristen, toe head for Claire, and then like brown hair for Massey, which like, how inclusive. But the fashion show comes down 
to the two groups. They vote by putting thimbles into a box. Massey paints hers purple and Alicia and Olivia end up winning. And so she goes and peeks in the boxes and they switch them because she can see her purple thimble in Alicia and Olivia's, so. The video game from Cam that he gave to Todd was actually a CD mix he made for Claire. The book just ended and they didn't even tell anybody that they actually won. It had a kind of sweet ending. Claire was like, oh my gosh, Massey is a real person. She said she was no longer a mysterious she-devil. She stressed over outfits, got stabbed in the back by her friends, liked sugary desserts, and didn't always win, even when she deserved to. Massey was a regular person. She just knew how to hide it. And then she says like, oh, I wasn't entitled to friendship with Massey. I had to earn it, which is like kind of weird. Like, like, obviously you have to like become friends with someone, you have to like to become friends, but like that still is uncomfortable that Massey was so mean to her and she just kept coming back. But I guess they're friends now. And it ends off that Claire gets a note from Cam and she's like, you know what, Massey and I are friends now. I should show her later. I hope she'll react well. We all know Massey likes Cam, so. She's not gonna react well, but that's the end. I finished the first two books. Final thoughts. These books, I remember them being such higher stakes when I was younger, but honestly now it's just like entertaining to hear all this drama. I love watching movies that are like bad, just cringe. And that is what this is in book form. The writing is easy to read. It's fun. Would I recommend it? Not if you're serious. If you just want to have fun and like kind of laugh at like middle school drama, this is entertaining. And be prepared because it's 2004 and there is some comments every once in a while, things that are like, why would you put that? Okay, so the final current state of the union where we stand right now, what's in um, Claire and Massey being friends and what's out is Alicia this video because it's over.